Hey, do you want to learn how to use Hume AI Voice Generator? Some say it's better than 11 Labs. So in this video, I'm going to show you a full step-by-step -step tutorial on how to use it. So if you found the video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and let's get to it. So they have these two features inside it. You can use text to speech, or you can talk with an AI, which is going to understand your emotions. And we are going to test it out. It does feel much better than 11 Labs, but that's up for you to decide. I'm going to just choose the voice here. They've got a lot of these voices. We're just going to select this one. And if you're wondering if you can clone your own voice, that's not possible with Hume AI. You do can create an AI voice, but that's going to be a random voice that you can create. Now here you can give it a script and you can also select the emotion. You can also generate random prompts or you can also randomize it by clicking on this button. And let's click on generate. Oh my god, thank you so much. I really love it. It's what I've always wanted. Amazing. So it can detect what you're saying and also detect the emotions inside it. And you can create any type of voice with their octave voice design. But they don't have a functionality yet to clone your voice like you can do inside 11 Labs. You can give it acting instructions, nuanced acting instructions, and it's going to take that into account when it's generating the voice. Like here, it says whispered, hushed. Are you serious? Or pained, shocked. Are you serious? And they say that it's the first AI voice generator that can do this. And you can have any emotion or speaking style on command. So they also have an API. So if you're a developer, you can take their voice generating capabilities inside your app. Now let's take a look at their dashboard. I'm going to go into their app, which is on platform.hume.ai. Now on here, on the left hand side, you can click on text to speech, check out their playground, voices and projects. With projects, you won't be able to check it out because it's for the premium plan and not for the free, free users. So if I go into playground, I can type something here. And on the right hand side, you can select a voice. So these are all the voices that are featured. And this is the voice library. Hume's AI voice generator is insane. Well, I remember back in the day, we'd sit and talk. About okay, so like, I'm obsessed with this new skirt I got. In the ancient land of Aloria. The real kicker, you can spin up any day. Uh, yeah, I'm always awake. I and you can see that there is a My Voices tab. This is just for if you generate a voice or create a voice by clicking on this button. So I've already made one. Take a listen to it. You've got to be kidding me with this traffic. I could have walked to Coney Island fast. This is a New Yorker accent. So I'm going to click on the create voice and I can auto generate or randomize it by clicking on these, this button. You can give it a prompt, a voice prompt and the text that it has to speak. So let's click on generate samples. Okay, so like I ordered this thing, right? And it was supposed to be here like last week. Okay, so we got the sample one, sample two, and sample three. We got three samples here, and we can switch between them. So this was sample one. This is for sample two. Okay, so like I ordered this thing, right? And, and this is for sample three. Okay, so like I ordered this thing, right? They all sound similar. So I'm going to select the sample two and give it a name and save voice. Now I can use it inside my text-to-speech playground. And inside this, you can see on the bottom left, your remaining credits. So this is remaining characters, 9,535. And currently in this, I've typed in 16 characters. So I can enhance this text and generate it. You can also select the acting instructions on the right hand side. So let's click on auto generate. This is the acting instructions and the speed. So you can increase or decrease the speed from here. You can also change the audio format, make it mp3 or .wav file. And these are some of the tips that they provide you with. So if you want to add pause in your text, we can use it by writing this. Pause in the brackets. You can also use the natural dialects and the punctuations inside it. And it's going to recognize that and generate it. Now let's click on generate to test it out. Okay, so like this is me right now. It did had pause in between. So if I remove this pause 
tag in it and generate it. Okay, so like this is me right now. So I'm not sure if there was a pause this time because I did remove that pause tag. And in tips, you can see here that you can add the pause in brackets and it's going to have a natural break in your sentence. So you can test it out on Hume AI. And we can go over to voices and these are all the voices that they currently have. And you can create your own voice. We already checked this out. Uh, yeah, I'm always awake. I literally don't sleep. So next up, we got empathetic voice interface and in it, you can start a call and talk with the AI. And the AI is also going to de detect your emotions, etc. So let's check it out. For the speech, you can select the voice here or the custom voices as well. You can create a voice from here, name it, base voice, change the base voice that they already have, like Cora, and uh, you can make it more masculine or feminine, assertiveness, confidence, etc. You can change around this, and once done, you can take a listen to the voice sample. Neighborhood AI with a knack for emotional intelligence. What's on your mind today? Type in the name and then click on create. Now with this custom voice, we are going to start the call, but before that, there is text generation. You can use cloud inside it or GPT-4.0. This is chat, GPT, or Gemini, Llama, and a lot more. There's timeouts, event message, and tools. There is a capability to add web search but this requires probably to use a GPT-4.0. Yep, and now you can do the web search. And with this GPT-4.0, we can also use this feature, which is hang up. So the AI can itself hang up. So let's click on start call. So now it has started the conversation. And you can see here the realization, concentration, and disappointment, and a lot more. So these are the things that it has detected in our speech. Hmm, sounds like you're deep in thought about how our speech can carry so much. It's fascinating how much can be detected just from the way we say things, right? What sparked your interest in all these observations? And now I can talk with the AI and make a conversation. It does take a little bit of time before it speaks. Absolutely. Diving into AI conversations is like getting to know a new friend. It takes a bit to hit that stride. How have you found our conversations so far? So you can see the different emotions in the AI when it speaks and in my speaking. So here, contemplation, awkwardness, calmness, or in her, interest, confusion, anger, and such. And you can mute your microphone by clicking on this button or mute audio playback. And you can also press on this button to drop the call and the conversation. And uh, you can see the summary of the call the assistant and the user. So what were the emotions and what were the emotions of the assistant? You can see the top expressions, etc. And if you do not want to talk, you can also send message in the message field here. So these are the voices that can be used for the empathetic voice interface and you can also generate a new voice that we already checked out before. There's expression measurement which is very similar to empathetic voice interface. You can add your own webcam and it's going to detect based on your face and expression levels. You can also give it a voice file. Like here, you can select the model, toxic versus not toxic, song, genre, prediction, and a lot more. You can try an example. Let's try an example here and then you can start analyzing the file. And now because we selected the song genre, uh, it's predicting it. And it's going to say that the, it's more related to the country, country song. Next we have jobs and the custom models. You can also create your own custom model if you want. And these are API keys. If you are a developer and you want to integrate this, Hume AI inside your app, you can do so by using these API keys inside it. You've got the API key and the secret key. This is your usage, how much you've used Hume AI so far. 
and then we got the billing. It's very similar to Eleven Labs, but like I said before, they don't have an option to add your own custom clone of your own voice. You can create a voice, but not your own clone. It starts off at $3 per month and goes all the way up to $900 per month. So yeah, that's it. That's how to use Hume AI. And if you do found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Also, there's a link in the description. If you go through that link, it may help me out with a small commission. And that's it. On the right hand side, there will be a playlist. You can check out my other software tutorials and the AI tutorials. So see you there. Bye for now.